All right. Good morning, boys and girls. It's good to see you again. I know we saw each other at Morning Circle and we had a good talk about what our um, next weeks are going to look like. They're going to look like just like we've been doing. You're familiar with the routine. You know what your work you're doing. So I think you're going to be great at this. In fact, I know you're going to be great at this. And I'm right here all along the way. Even though we're not in the classroom together, I'm right here and I'm ready to answer any questions, work with you on things that you don't understand, and to be the cheerleader to say you're doing a great job because you really are, okay? All right, like we always do, let's go ahead and let's start with reviewing our letter sounds. I haven't seen you in a couple days, so I wanna make sure we have all those sounds up in our head, okay? Let's go through them together. Q, U, queen, qua, K, kite, k, M, man, m, J, jug, j, P, pan, p, Z, zebra, z, T, top, t, S, snake, s, C, cat, U up a uh, D dog d Y yellow y F fun f O octopus a uh, G game g N nut n X fox x R rat R, L, lamp, O, A, apple, A, W, wind, W, E, ed, E, V, van, V, I, itch, I, B, bat, B, and H, hat, very nicely done, okay? It's a good thing to review those sounds and typically we do that Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So this was a perfect day for us just to review those since we hadn't seen each other for a couple days. Okay, this week we are going to work on two new sounds. And in fact, these are our last two new sounds of the year. We're gonna start reviewing next week all of our sounds. So these are the first two, last two, sorry, new sounds that we're gonna be getting, okay? So the first one that we're gonna be getting is what this animal begins with. This animal begins with a, listen to the sound, y, y, like yellow. What letter do we put for that sound? The letter Y, very good, Y, yellow, y. This is called a yak, y -ack, yak. It has that y sound at the beginning, which is the letter Y. So we're gonna be talking about the letter Y this week. If we look at Mrs. Rooney, find it here. I should have pulled it out before. Okay. We're gonna be looking at the letter Y this week for yak and yellow. The other sound we're gonna be listening to this week is the qu sound, like we hear at the beginning of quilt, qu, qu. Two letters go together to make that sound. The letters, and I'm gonna pull them out. Oh, my friend the queen right here. These two letters go together to make that qua sound, Q-U. Q is the only letter in the alphabet that will never be by itself. He has to have his buddy U with him all the time. You will never see a word with just Q. You can be alone, but Q refuses. That means he will not be alone in a word at any point. So he is always with that U. So that's why you hear that qua sound. So we always say Q U, queen, qua. Same for quilt. Qua, 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 il, ult, quilt. 
Okay, there are four different sounds in that word. Qua, Q U, I, I, O, L, and T. -t. Qua is one sound for Q U because Q will not be by itself in a word. So this week we are going to work on the last two new sounds that we'll hear this year. Y, yellow, Y, and Q U, queen, qua. Okay, those are our two new sounds this week. All right, let's take a look at some picture cards. This is a yo-yo, y, yo-yo. Where do I hear the y sound in yo-yo? Very good, I hear it at the beginning, and that letter that makes that sound is the letter Y. Very good. How about if I look at yarn, y, arn, yarn? Where do I hear the Y sound, that y sound in yarn? Very good, I hear it at the beginning. How about if I look at the color yellow, y, ello, yellow? Where do I hear the y sound in yellow? Very good, I hear it at the beginning, y, yellow, very good. So yo-yo, yarn, and yellow all begin with that y sound, the letter Y, very good. If I look at this, ah, on Wednesdays and Fridays, ice cream day, right? You need two of these to buy ice cream. These are quarters, very good, qua, qua. There's that buddy, Q and U together at the beginning, right? Qua, quarter. How about if I look at a queen, qua, in, queen. There are those buddies again, very good. All right, so Q, U is what I hear at the beginning of queen and Quarter, very good. All right, my friends, I am going to ask you to open up your skills, buddy. You still have them, your blue one. Open up to page 112 and 113. 112 and 113. When you get to that page, put your finger on the yam, the yam. It looks like a potato right up here next to the pumpkin, okay? All right, so I'm gonna let you pause and I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna pause, and then you start when you have your book open. Okay, if you have your book open, you're ready to put your finger on the yam, okay? What sound do I hear at the beginning of the word yam? I'm gonna get this closer so you can see it, okay? So put your finger on the yam. Y am yam. Very good, that's that y, that y sound, right? Let's see if we can find anything else on this page that begins with the y sound. Can you take a look around? I'm gonna take a look around and I'm gonna point out some things to help you hear those sounds. Let's take a look at the house. What color is the house? Very good, the house is y, yellow. Yellow, yam. They have the same sound at the beginning, very good. How about, oh, this was our friend that we saw on the picture card. This is a y yak, right? Very good, there's a yak. Um, uh, what's she doing? Look at those lines coming out of her mouth. What do you think she might be doing? Yelling, very good. Y -l, yell, very good. All right, um, do you see any others? Let's see, how about, if we look, what's this whole, oh, down here. We saw this on a picture card. What is that called? Yarn, very good, yarn, yarn, very good. All right, and what's this whole grassy part called? It's called a yard, very good, yard, yard, very good. All right, now, I see on the line, I see some quilts, quilt, quilt, okay? That qu sound at the beginning. What two letters make that sound? 
Very good. Q-U makes that sound. Okay. Let's take a look around and see if we can find some things that begin like quilt. Quilt. Well, I'm not going to go far from the quilt. Look at his shirt. We've made that sign after when we ask a... Very good. We ask a question. That's a question mark. Qu, qu, question. There's that Q-U at the beginning. Very good. Let's go right down here to the rooster. What is she putting in her purse? That is a quarter. Very good. Qu, quarter. Very good. There's that qu sound. This is funny. This is very old fashioned, but this is called a quill pen. It means it's a feather and they dipped it into ink and then they wrote with it. So let's listen to that. Qu, qu, quill. Very good. Where do we hear that qu sound in that word? We hear it at the beginning. Very good. All right. Let's go over here. This is a picture of a queen. Very good. Qu, qu, queen. Queen. Do we have that qu sound there? We certainly do. And let's take a look. This little boy is showing his dad his quiz. He took a quiz and he got an A plus on it. Good for him. Qua, qua, qua is. Where do we hear that qua sound in quiz? At the beginning. Very good. All right, my friends. Good job looking on your skills buddy today for those qua and y sounds. Okay. All right. I'm going to say two words. Listen carefully to the first sound in each word. One word begins with that y, that y sound, and the other does not. Tell me which one begins with the y sound. Okay, listen very carefully. Y, L, yell, or B, L, bell. Which one begins with that y sound? If you said yell, very good. All right. Next one, listen carefully. This word, B, Un, bun, or y, um, yum. Which one begins with that y sound? Very good. If you said yum, very good. All right. This time, listen. Which one begins with the y sound? Listen carefully. Yarn, y, arn, or Vine, vine. Which one begins with that y sound? Very good. If you said yarn, very good. Y again, that y sound. Me or y u, you. Me or you. Which one begins with that y sound? Very good. If you said you, very good. How about this time? I want you to listen for the qu sound, that qu, that q u sound, that qu sound. Okay, listen very carefully. Qu ik or w in. Which one has that qu sound? Qu ik or w in. If you said quick, good job. All right. How about s art? Start or qua it. Start or qua it. Quit. Which one has that qua sound at the beginning? If you said quit, very good. All right. How about the last one? Qua is, quiz, or d esque, desk. Which one has that qua sound at the beginning? Very good. If you said quiz, excellent. All right, my friends. Very good. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to do some blending of some sounds together. Okay. So if you have a whiteboard there, if you have a piece of paper, that's fine. If you have a whiteboard and you want to do this along with me, you absolutely may. Okay. All right. So the first one I want to do, let's do our friends Q U Qua I T Qua It. What word did we make? Quit. Very good. All right. How about let's try this one? 
That's our new letter Y. What sound does Y make? Y. Very good. Our next letter, F. And our last sound, T. Very good. Let's put them together. Y. Et. Yet. Very good. All right. Here's some oldies. I, M. Very good. Let's put them together. T, M, Tim. Excellent. All right. How about this one? Er. Very good. A, N. Mm. Let's put it together. Er, An. Ran. Very good. All right. Very good. Ah. Let's put it all together. P -ast. Past. Very good, friends. All right, how about this one? I. Oh, very good. We only say L one time there. Ill, hill, very good. All right, last one. Er, eh, Let's put it together. Er, eh, st. rest. Very good, my friends. Very, very good. All right. Okay, now what I would like you to do is if you need to pause, go ahead and pause. I would like you to get out your reading workbook, your readers and writers, and open up to page 381. And we're gonna work on Y and Q you this morning, okay? So I'm gonna pause so you can pause and go get your books. All right, my friends, so now you have your books, okay? I'm gonna write your name up at the top like we always do. And let's work on this first letter for a yo-yo. What sound do we hear at the beginning of that? Y, y. So what letter do we write? Very good, we're gonna write letter Y. So we're gonna pull straight down, slide up, and add a tail. Pull straight down, slide up, add a tail. Pull straight down, slide up, Add a tail, pull straight down, slide up, add a tail, pull straight down, slide up, and add a tail. I'm gonna circle this as my favorite, and I'd like you to circle your favorite. Okay, if you need to pause while you're finishing, pause me and finish before you go on. You do not have to rush. All right, I am going to keep going, okay? All right. Now, lowercase y, lowercase y starts at that dotted line. And we make a lowercase y like that. That is not a lowercase y. That's a very big lowercase y. So that is incorrect. We wanna start at that dotted line and pull straight down. Start at that dotted line and pull straight down Start at that dotted line and pull straight down. And I'm gonna circle this one as my favorite, okay? All right, next, we're gonna go down to this. This is a picture of a queen, right? Qua, what sound do we hear at the beginning of queen? Qua, right? And what letters make that sound? Q-U says qua, very good. Now what I don't like is that they put Q here by itself. And my rule, and I tell you the same rule, Q is never by itself in a word. So we're actually gonna practice writing that Q-U together. So Q is basically an O with a kickstand. And then we're gonna put a lowercase U right next to it, because that's how we hear qua, okay? So we're only gonna put three of those, Q, U, Q, 
you, okay? And you may circle your favorite one, and I'm gonna circle my first one. All right, lowercase q really looks like a backwards P. So lowercase q is circle back around and pull straight down, and you can give it a little hook at the bottom. And we're gonna use a lowercase u right next to it. So Q is circle back around, push up, pull down, and curve around. And we're gonna put a lowercase u right next to it, okay? Circle back around, pull down, hook around, and a lowercase u right next to it, okay? For QU, because qua is QU, it's not Q by itself. You know, Mrs. Rini tells you sometimes I don't like how they do things in the book. This is one of those times because you shouldn't just be writing Q by yourself. It should be Q-U, okay? All right, let's go down to the bottom and let's put these three sounds together. Y-E-T, let's put those sounds together on our fingers, okay? Making sure my marker doesn't roll away. Y-E-T, what word are we saying? Y-E-T. Very good. If you did y et yet, that is the word that we're writing right there. Y E T, yet. Very good. Let's go right across. This is a name because they have an uppercase Q there and they have that Q U. So we're going to tap that Q U I N. But Q U is one sound. So let's put one finger sound to that. Qua i n. Qua in. Quinn, very good. Qua in. Quinn, very good. So let's go ahead and write that. Uppercase Q, U, I, N. Okay, and remember, Mrs. Rooney is using markers so that you're able to see my work. You are using pencil. Okay. All right, my friends, go ahead and turn your page and let's take a look at the page behind. Okay. We're going to look for our things that have that Y, which is the letter Y. Very good. Or if it has the Q sound, which is Q U. Okay. All right. So let's take a look. I'm going to read the picture. So if you want to go off and do it on your own and come back and check with me, you may do that. So listen carefully to the pictures first. This is yarn. This is a, I'm sorry, that's not yarn. This is Rennie. That's a yo-yo. Yo-yo. Quilt. Queen. Yard. That is a yard. If you look at that picture, they're looking at the yard. Here is our yarn, and here is our question mark. If you are ready to go off and do it on your own, you may and come back. What I do want you to do is remember, if it has the qu sound at the beginning, I want you to write lowercase q u. I'll show you on the first, okay? This is a yo-yo, yo-yo. What letter do we write for that first sound of yo-yo, y? Very good, the letter Y. Going right across, this is a quilt, quilt, quilt. What's that first sound I'm making? Qua, very good. What letters do we write for qua? Very good. We write Q, U, circle back around, pull down, hook around, and that letter U. Make sure you're writing that letter U next to that Q. Q does not say qua. Q, U says qua. Let's go to the queen. Qua, in, queen. What's that first sound I'm hearing at the beginning of queen? I'm hearing that qua sound. Very good. What letters make that qua sound? Very good. Q, U, circle back around. And a lowercase u, very good. All right, let's go across. This is a y, yard, y, ard, yard. What sound am I hearing at the beginning of yard? Y, ard, yard, y. 
Very good. I'm hearing a y sound. What letter makes that y sound? Very good. The letter Y does. Very good. This is yarn. Y arn. Yarn. Y. What sound am I hearing at the beginning of that word? Very good. I'm hearing the y sound. What letter makes that sound? The letter Y does. Very good. Okay. A question mark. Question. Question. What sound am I hearing at the beginning of question? I'm hearing the qu sound. What letters do we write for that qu sound? Very good. I use a Q U. Very good. All right. My friends, I would like you to go and find the words, the pictures that begin with the qu sound and color them in for me. Okay. You're going to look for only the qua pictures. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to quickly do a quick one color on mine so that my friends are ready to check their work. Okay. If you're ready to check your work, I'm going to hold mine up so you can see I colored in the queen, the quilt, and the question mark. Okay. All right. I'll hold it up there. You can pause to check your work. Make sure for those qua pictures, we put a Q U, Q U, and a Q U. If your work is neat and mom and dad have looked at it, then you may go ahead and put a star on your front page and on your back page. All right. Remember nice, neat writing and finger space between your letters. Okay. All right. Great job, my friends.